money is going to turn more towards Bitcoin. You'll see more money flow towards Bitcoin because the spot ETF is going to draw more interest from the public. And again, if Bitcoin continues to go up to 100,000, 200, I mean, yes, Solana probably does very well. In fact, it's one of my favorite cryptos over the longer term. Basically, what we have is we have a pivot high from 2019. It cuts right through the bull market lows right here. And that line extends to basically 48 to 50,000. We then have this pivot high, which after the big drop, this was the highest pivot before the next leg down. That's also at 48 to 50,000. In his recent game plan, expert trader Gareth Soloway's perspective underscores the dominance of Bitcoin in the current market landscape. According to Soloway, the crypto guys are still fixated on Bitcoin's ongoing ascent, often likening its trajectory to reaching the moon. Market experts and traders are now setting their sights on the $48,000 mark, anticipating potential momentum to drive Bitcoin's value toward an ambitious $50,000. The prevailing market sentiment heavily favors Bitcoin, with an exceptional 20% surge this week propelling it beyond the $40,000 barrier to achieve a new milestone of $44,000. Soloway emphasizes the possibility of a rapid upward spike toward the $50,000 mark, mainly as the market currently indicates a 90% likelihood of approval for a spot ETF by January 10th, reports from Reuters. Citing unnamed executives suggest that discussions between the Securities and Exchange Commission and investment funds seeking to list Bitcoin ETFs have intensified, prompting applicants to adjust their filings based on regulatory feedback. Shifting focus to Ethereum, Soloway observes its struggle around the $2,300 resistance level, initially targeted with a potential further climb to $2,500 before a significant corrective move. Ethereum's price breaks the $2,200 barrier as Bitcoin surges to $44,000 this Tuesday. As Ethereum gains momentum, the altcoin market accelerates for a possible sprint before the end of 2023. Ethereum achieved a new 52-week high at $2,392, hinting at a potential continuation of its trend beyond $3,000 this December. Let's turn to the video. To delve more into Soloway's chart analysis, let's begin by remembering to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. Crypto guys, Bitcoin continues to, as they call it, moon, right? And again, it has, trading at 44,000. Incredible move. Now again, looking at this consolidation, I still remember a week ago or so talking to you guys about this bullish consolidation wedge pattern, as I called it, where we continued to kind of chop in here. And I said, listen, if you looked at 100 of this pattern formation, basically 70% would break to the upside. Well, that's obviously what ended up happening here. Now, the question is, my max upside target is about 48,000. And I've explained to you guys why 48,000 is significant to me. So number one and two, you have trend lines, right? So what we can see here, and I'm trying to be able to show all these trend lines here, but basically what we have is we have a pivot high from 2019. It cuts right through the bull market lows right here. And that line extends to basically 48 to 50,000. We then have this pivot high, which after the big drop, this was the highest pivot before the next leg down. That's also at 48 to 50,000. And then lastly, the Fibonacci 618 happens to be right there as well. Same thing with the 50,000 level. Please understand, if we go to 48, 48, 5, we're so close to 50,000 understand that you could easily wick up there. Now, is it likely we're going to go straight there? I mean, to be honest, I was only under the, you know, my case for us reaching 48 was with the approval of the spot ETF. Um, we haven't had the approval yet, but at the same time, markets are pricing it in at a 90% chance by January 10th. So I think the markets are assuming it's approved, and that's why you're seeing this continued upside. And my guess is when it's approved, you will see a move up to 48 or so, but then it will probably come back in significantly. And again, I still have it priced in, and I'm going to position myself and continue to position myself for a pullback to about 30 to 32 once we see all of this movement on the spot ETF get done. Now, I do want to cover a couple other crypto charts. Let's take a look here real quick at the uh, Ethereum chart. I know some of you guys always wish I'd cover Ethereum. Ethereum is struggling at a short-term resistance level right here. Again, if we take a look at this pivot high connected to this pivot high, we're just kind of right up there. We pierced it here, 
right? And I apologize if it's hard to see, but then we're pulling back again. So this 2300 level was my first target on Ethereum. If it gets through here, you have another epic, and this is kind of my max move. So, you know, I, I try to give you guys my best case and again, remember, this is all probability based. So it doesn't mean I'm going to be right. Uh, we know that. I'm not always right. But I look at the probabilities, the charts, the technicals, the data. And the probabilities set, tell me that Bitcoin, again, 48 to 50,000, that's a major top. And I actually think we come back to at least 30 to 32 once we hit that. With Ethereum, 2,500 is that level on Ethereum, where if we get to 2,500, probabilities heavily favor a near term top and a big corrective move, all right? According to Soloway, the current market narrative appears tightly linked to Bitcoin, overshadowing the performance of altcoins, which have hit a stall. Solana, often hailed as the Ethereum killer, has experienced substantial growth in network activity and price since October 2023. Notably, Solana's price has surged an impressive 368% year-to-date, soaring from a low of $7.95 in 2022 to an astounding $64.20, reaching an annual high of $68. Shifting focus from cryptocurrencies, Soloway directs attention to the precious metals market, particularly gold and silver. He maintains a bullish outlook on gold. Discussing silver, Soloway highlights an intriguing chart pattern, pointing out a channel formation and the potential for a retracement to approximately $23.50. Gold recently marked new all-time highs, reaching $2,144 in a robust rally at the start of the week, followed by subdued trading for the remainder of the week after Monday's initial gains. Conversely, on Wednesday, silver declined to the $24.05 level, trading with minor losses. Now, let's explore the insights further in the video. If you look at some of these other uh, altcoins, the altcoins have really stalled out. This has become the Bitcoin show right now. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we had the altcoin run, like this is Solana, incredible run from basically $20 to 68, 66, whatever it achieved up here. Since then, Bitcoin has shot up. We saw that chart. I mean, Bitcoin has literally gone boom like that. But notice Solana is struggling now below this previous high. Now, we'll have to see if it can break above it. But my guess again is that money is going to turn more towards Bitcoin. You'll see more money flow towards Bitcoin because the spot ETF is going to draw more interest from the public. And again, if Bitcoin continues to go up to 100,000, 200, I mean, yes, Solana probably does very well. In fact, it's one of my favorite cryptos over the longer term that I still think will survive. But you have to just recognize that the altcoins are stalling. And this is now the Bitcoin show for now, at least. All right, we're going to go into gold and silver. I want to touch on gold and silver real quick. All right, we have gold right here, guys. Again, gold, we know what happened with gold here. It went up, it blew right through on that light volume. I explained this yesterday really in detail about why it wicked up like that so much, well above the all-time highs, but then came crashing back in. Um, I do want to show you that I do think that we're going to start to see some stabilization, and I do think big, uh, gold starts to move back up. The better, more intriguing chart to me, so I'm, I'm just remaining bullish long gold. I mean, I love, I did take a little bit of profit off. I took Newmont Mining off with members of InTheMoneyStocks.com. We made a, a nice score on that trade, and I'm glad I did because obviously it's had a little bit of a pullback since this move. But I'm still holding in, in the service GLD, GDX, and I still think those go considerably higher overall. But silver, silver, I don't have much exposure directly to the silver commodity. And this chart's interesting, right? Because if we look at this, we have this channel, right? Channel here, and we have this area here. And obviously, it's mirrored with this beautiful parallel channel. I mean, look at that parallel channel. Now, what I do know is that when you break out, it's a great thing. But there's a tendency for a retrace to the scene of the crime. The retrace would be right back here. So I guess what I'm saying to you is I may be interested in buying the SLV or silver at this retrace around $23.50 if it gets there. So if somehow we get silver to come back and retrace to this channel line, it broke out, it usually wants to come back and retest, that is going to be a very, very interesting level on the charts. All right. The recent market momentum revolves around Bitcoin as its dominance overshadows the performance of altcoins, which are currently facing a stall. 
Investors eyeing regulated avenues to invest in Bitcoin C ETFs as an optimal solution. A Bitcoin spot ETF approval would open the gates for wary investors to access the cryptocurrency through the tightly regulated stock market with an anticipated demand of up to $3 billion in the initial days. What is your stance? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you found this content informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the latest updates. Thank you for being here with us.